Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to um, evaluate for theta when cotangent of theta is equal to negative 1. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is understand you know, what does the cotangent of an angle represent? Well, remember the cotangent of an angle represents the x over the y coordinate. So what I simply need to do is look at my, my major coordinates just in the first quadrant and see which one of these would produce a ratio that's equal to negative 1. So I take my x over my y. That's not going to produce negative 1. That's not going to produce negative 1. However, since square root of 2 divided by 2 and square root of 2 divided by 2, that's going to equal 1. So I'm getting there. I'm getting close, right? But if I need to, these to be negative, that means I either need to have my x coordinate be negative or my y coordinate be negative. If I look in the third quadrant, that means both the x and the y coordinates are going to be negative. So therefore, um, I would still have a positive 1. So I just need to be able to figure out what are these two angles right here. Well, right here, this is the angle pi force. So if we look at pi force, 2 pi force, 3 pi force would be this angle. So we could say theta is going to equal 3 pi over 4. And then if we, again, if we want to continue to this one, we have 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, which you know is pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, and then 7 pi over 4. And then we just want to make sure that our angles are between 0 and 2 pi, as that is our constraint. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find theta when you're given the cotangent theta is equal to negative 1. Thanks.